You often find us banging on about Microsoft 365 Business Premium and why it's a perfect software bundle for small businesses. Now, if you're not using it today, or if you're already using Office 365 Standard Edition, why should you consider to upgrade? Why should you even care about it as a business? Well, let's have a look and see how we can help. Today, we're gonna to tell you three reasons why Microsoft 365 Business Premium should be on your radar. Firstly, Microsoft 365 really does make it easy for remote teams to work together. Just simple things like instead of keeping all your files just on your laptop, all of your files are also stored in the Microsoft Cloud in OneDrive. So that means that we can really quickly share files with teammates and work on the same documents in real time, which makes life a lot simpler. It also means that if that laptop dies, all of those files are safe inside Office 365. We can keep in touch with each other with unlimited free video calls and meetings, thanks to Microsoft Teams. And in there, we can even set up dedicated client areas to safely share files and folders. And then of course, we've always got Outlook for email on our desktop, laptop, and mobile devices. And we've got this seamless ability to just carry on work from one device to another. And that also works whether we're working in the office or at home or even in a coffee shop. It's really, really simple. Now, here in the UK, over 50% of small businesses have had some kind of cyber breach in the last 12 months, and attacks on Office 365 accounts are actually on the rise. Now, there are two main ways that businesses get hacked. Number one, they don't have any multi-factor authentication enabled, or number two, someone in the business clicks on a link in an email, which ends up trying to steal their login details. Now, the good news is that you can actually stop both of those attacks with Microsoft Business Premium. In fact, there are multiple layers of security built in there to, to protect everyone in the business and stop you getting hacked. In fact, there are over 50 different controls to protect you, your teams, and your customers. Now, one of the challenges might be that this extra security could be really complex. And as we start to work from home, it's getting very difficult for us to manage the PCs and the updates and those traditional patching systems. See, the laptops aren't coming into the office as often as they used to. So those systems that we had for update management and patches, they're just not as effective as they used to be. With Microsoft 365, actually we can make life simpler for the IT admins. We can give them this single location for things like autopilot, which makes it really simple to get new laptop devices ready for new starters in the organization. We could have Endpoint Manager, which is perfect for installing the right software at the right time, managing updates, and actually monitoring the security compliance of our laptops wherever our people are working. And finally, we've got mobile application management. Now this lets us set policies to decide where data is stored and who is allowed to access data on their employee owned or personal devices. So again, there's a nice set of tools here that are keeping things really simple. Now, yes, let's be honest, we know that it does cost a little bit more than the Office 365 normal bundle. So we're looking at around 15 pounds 10 or 20 US dollars instead of 9 pounds 40, $12.50 for each user each month. But if you stop paying for other tools, things like Dropbox or Zoom or two-factor authentication, desktop antivirus tools like Sophos or email protection, spam protection, things like Mimecast, you're definitely onto a winner. In fact, we've got a video coming up where we'll do a deep dive on that pricing. So look out for that one. And that's it for today. You know, if you've got any questions or comments about anything that we've said, drop them below. But in any case, we will see you next.